In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to do a macaco, also known as a Valdez. The word macaco translates to monkey. It's a Portuguese word and it comes from capoeira. Traditionally, this trick was done with two hands and it was different to the Valdez, but tricking is not particularly well known for its accurate or useful terminology. And over time, we have started to use the two words interchangeably. First things first, before attempting this trick, you should do a full body warm up. I like to put particular emphasis on making sure my shoulders and wrists are especially warm. Once you're warm, let's start with some cartwheels. These are a great thing to do at the end of any warm up to ease into tricks. If you want to do the macaco over your left shoulder, putting your left hand down, you will need to learn the cartwheel on your left side. This means taking off of your left leg in front and then putting your left hand down first. If you want to learn macaco on your opposite side, then you will have to do the cartwheel on the opposite side also. The next thing to do is a one-handed cartwheel. This is putting the first hand down. So if you're doing the cartwheel on your left side, you'll put your left hand down only. If you can't do a cartwheel or a one-handed cartwheel, then I would suggest learning those before you try the macaco. The cartwheel starts facing forwards and ends facing backwards. The next step is to do the cartwheel the same way we would do the macaco. This is starting backwards and ending backwards. To do this, you will simply just start with your feet planted backwards and then you will just turn calmly into your cartwheel. No jumps, no different movements, just a different beginning stance. Now at this stage, with some of my students, I have said, now do the exact same thing and land on the other foot. And this is the only cue that they need to turn this cartwheel into a macaco. So if you're outside, you're trying it right now, give that a go. If it works, don't bother watching the rest of the video. If not, don't worry, just keep following the next steps. The next thing that you wanna start doing is initiate the movement from a low position. Crouch as low as possible and then do the exact same thing. Now let's turn this into a macaco. The main thing that you have to change is instead of splitting your legs as you do in the cartwheel, you want to keep your legs together at the start. You can even imagine that you have something tied around your knees if you're into that sort of thing. To learn the correct wrist positioning for this trick, simply hold your arm out and turn your hand backwards away from you. Because this is the part where a lot of people can get stuck, I demonstrate here the easiest way, in my opinion, to build up to this trick. Start with baby steps and then a baby jump and then just gradually build it up. The main thing here is just starting with your legs together and ending with your legs together also. You should be able to build up these baby steps until you can do something that resembles a macaco. In which case, congratulations, you have achieved the macaco. I personally don't advise learning by trying to throw your shoulder backwards. I say keep it round the side and the more confident you get with backflips, back handsprings and so on, eventually you can apply that to the macaco. The next step to advance your macaco is to land on one leg, not the cartwheel leg, but the same leg as hand you put down. This will enable you to swing through. In tricking, the macaco is mainly used as a transition or a momentum building setup. So you should get into the habit of swinging through into an actual jump. Even if you can't do any swing through tricks, just jump off of that leg. And also landing on two legs, you should rebound into a straight jump. You need to begin to practice how to generate momentum from the macaco. It takes time to get the macaco controlled enough to actually gain momentum, but by practicing these drills, it will come. So that's it for this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, please leave me a like, subscribe for more tutorials and videos like this, and I'd love to hear how your macaco progression is going and if this video helped. So please leave me some feedback in the comment section. Other than that, have a lovely day and see you guys next time.